And this week, a 17-year-old by the name of Sean Abner was drafted number one by the Mets. The Mets are owned by Nelson Doubleday. They signed them yesterday, so Abner and Doubleday are now a team. But being drafted number one and becoming a number one baseball player are often two different things. The draft began in 1965. The number one pick in that number one draft, Rick Monday by the A's. Not bad. Tom Seaver was drafted in the 24th round. A tip-off of things to come. He was drafted by the Dodgers, but didn't sign. The next year, in 66, the number two pick was Reggie Jackson. But the Mets went first and took Steve Chilcott. He never played in the majors. 18 years later... First pick, New York Mets. The Mets select Abner. First name is Sean. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Just came over five Mets. Mets, bye-bye. Welcome to Mechanicsburg High School in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. The Mets had the number one pick again this year, and they came here. They drafted a sensational 17-year-old hitter by the name of Sean Abner. The odds are pretty good he'll make it to the major leagues. But unlike the number one picks in basketball and football, there's no guarantee he'll be a big success. Baseball is like the jungle of sports because you, you have to work for everything that you want. You, you can't just be picked like Bob Horner. I think one exception that was taken right up. But most of the high school players have to put into the rookie league or instructional league, and they have to they have to work and strive for what they want to do. It's up to them. His batting average this year approached 600. A terrific center fielder. His three previous years, he never batted under 400. And in football, here he is returning a kickoff for a touchdown. The University of Georgia was hoping he'd be their quarterback. But Sean wants baseball, and the Mets want Sean to be their shortstop. They liked uh, the way I perform, the way I handle myself with the pressure and everything, and they said that they were looking for a young person in their organization that could do the job for him. He can run, he can throw, he can catch the ball, he hits the ball, and he hits it with power. And the tough thing with these young people is trying to project what they're going to be like in three or four years. Uh, what type of ball player would he be? How about switching from outfield to shortstop? Does that, does that make you a bit unsettled? No, uh, I want to play where whatever position is going to make me move up the fastest. And they feel that I'll move up fast as an outfielder, but they think I can move up even faster as a shortstop. What do you hope your schedule will be now over the next couple of years? What do you project for yourself? I'd like to make it within two, two and a half, three years. I figure that's what it might take me, and hopefully it'll come down to the least amount of time that I mature and get on top of my game. And he hopes that 84 is like 78, when Bob Horner was number one, Lloyd Mosby number two, and Hubie Brooks number three. He prays it's not at all like 71. That's the year Danny Goodwin, Jay Franklin, and Tom Bianco were one, two, three. And folks like Mike Schmidt, George Brett, Mike Flanagan, and Jim Rice weren't. It was also the year future Met Keith Hernandez went in the 42nd round. Compare that with that first Mets pick in 66. Hopefully, uh... Uh, Sean Abner won't be put in a Steve Chilcott situation, but hopefully I can uh, make it. Well, Sean, hopefully the next interview we do will be a couple of years from now. Pre-game show, the game of the week. You'll be a major leaguer and all set to go. That'll be fun. Hopefully that'll be the case. All right, great. Nice talking with you. You too. And the odds are that interview will take place in a couple of years. Of all the number one picks, all except Chilcott and the most recent picks who haven't had time, all of them have made it to the majors. We'll be right back.